Hello folks and welcome to the in stock lease deals of the month for February. Uh, stunning deals again in this one, probably more in the electric car space than in the sort of petrols and diesels and what have you. Um, but tradition dictates I'm going to start with the stuff with an actual engine in before we move on to the electric stuff in the second part of the video. Uh, again, cheapest price we've seen on Tesla Model Y. Um, we've got an EV here that you can get for under 200 quid a month. It is phenomenal, this one, folks. Uh, link to Lease Locos in the video description. Please use it if you're going to inquire about any of these deals or indeed any others on the site. Because at the moment, it's the only way I can support making these lease deal videos. So it's imperative that you guys use it. Uh, all of these are three months up front, three year deals on 10,000 miles a year. But I will have a little bit of a play around with that as we go. Don't forget, folks, if you want to have a chat with me about anything car related, there's a little button over there on my website, notaguru.co.uk. Uh, you can click on that, book a call with me, and chat we shall. Okay, so we're starting things off with the Corsa. This is the 1.2 Turbo Ultimate Edition, 277 quid a month, and about 690 something up front, 683 up front, 9.9 .9 seconds to 62, 55 mpg, 100 horsepower, insurance group 19, 309 litres of boot space, Everyone knows enough about a Vauxhall Corsa, don't they? The average price on this has been 318 quid, currently 227, and it's in stock. If you look at the sort of high points for this, this, this time last year, 492 quid. I mean, that's crazy for a Corsa, but the numbers are there. And it dropped down to 261 in October, and we've seen um, more or less a very, very gradual decline since then. But currently at 227 a month, that looks like a good deal to me. Next, we've got a car that's not on too many people's radar, but it really should be, because it's a great alternative to things like the Astra or the Focus. It's the Hyundai i30, a one litre turbo GDI SE Connect DCT dual clutch transmission or automatic gearbox, 11.2 seconds to 62, 53 mpg, 120 horsepower, 395 litres of boot space, and only insurance group 10, so it's gonna be nice and cheap to insure. 285 quid a month has been the average on it. At its peak, it was at 362. Uh, it was a little blip, I have to say. Um, currently 253 and the upfront payment 759. Skoda Octavia Estate. We've seen the VRS a lot lately in the lease deals videos, but this one's the opposite of that. I guess the one litre TSI SE technology. I always think SE technology is a great place to be on the sort of spec level with um, Skoda or trim level, should I say. 277 quid a month and um, 833 up front, 11 seconds to 62, 52.7 mpg, 110 horsepower, insurance group 13. This is a big car to be insurance group 13, 640 litres of boot space. Um, so yeah, big car, as I said. And there is the Octavia Estate. I think it's just a bit of a classic design, really. Just a fairly decent looking estate car. Not a phenomenal deal, this one, but the average on it's been 299. It's currently 277. Onto the Suzuki Vitara 1.4 booster jet, 48 volt hybrid SZT. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's a brilliant value little car. 9.5 seconds to 62, 53 mpg, insurance group 22, 362 litres of boot space. Average on it, 295 quid a month, currently 253 uh, with about 760 up front, 761 indeed. The Cupra 4 Mentor has been very popular on Lease Loco in recent times, 314 quid a month at the moment. This one is the petrol manual version, um, 942 is the upfront payment on it. Uh, 8.7 seconds to 62, 44 mpg, 150 brake horsepower, insurance group 19, 450 litres of boot space. It's a very good looking car, I think. I really like the styling on these. Uh, I had one in for review and absolutely loved the car, in fairness, apart from the slidey things on the infotainment system, which made me shout. It's about average price at the moment, but it's in stock. Normally, these kind of cars have quite a bit of a weight on them. Uh, 314 quid a month as opposed to the average of 335. Just a nice thing to drive. Great deal on this again at the moment. The DS4 1.2 PureTech Rivoli E88 Automatic. 326 quid a month. 
um, DS being sort of the posh brand of Citroen, sort of their Lexus, if you like. 980 quid up front, 326 a month. Just look at the price history. 437 has been the average. And in July, it would have cost you 585 a month for one of these. And we had a massive drop um, just at the end of July, start of August, down to 363. But we've dropped again to 326. This really is a very nice car for that kind of money. I'll go through the numbers in a sec. But look at that. I mean, that's an interesting looking thing. Funky looking interior. I personally like the drivetrain. I think it's well balanced. I like the gearbox. Um, no issues with any of that whatsoever. 10.4 seconds to 62, 41 MPG, 131 horsepower, insurance group 21 and 430 litres of boot space. Really nice car. 326 quid a month it looks like a bit of a deal the toyota chl we've seen in one or two videos now um it's still quite a new model to market 343 a month at the moment 10.2 seconds to 62 59 mpg you might be looking at that and thinking that's an insane mpg figure i'm no, never going to get that from a car that i don't have to plug in uh this toyota hybrid system with cvt or the ecvt is incredibly frugal like amazing really um very similar with some of the hondas as well 140 horsepower insurance group 20 447 liters of boot space it started life at 630 quid a month it very quickly dropped down to pretty much where it is now the average on it's been 351 it's currently 343 but it's only been available to order since october so um we haven't really seen too much going on with the price yet it's way too early to say if this is a good price or not but it seems like fair value for a car that's going to deliver you that amount of frugality and still give you a decent amount of practicality. And speaking of amazing frugality and practicality, uh, they don't get any better than this. This is the Suzuki Swace, which is a Toyota Corolla hybrid with a Suzuki badge literally glued on over the Toyota one on the back of the boot. 350 quid a month. The upfront on it is 1,052. Insurance Group 18, 596 litres of boot space, 9.4 seconds to 62, 64.2 mpg, 140 horsepower. I've done a review of this car on my channel, so go and check it out. Um, you, you'll see that I actually really liked it. Um, it was an incredibly easy car to live with. It just swallows everything up, the kids, the dog, the shopping, um, just goes about its business. You won't have to visit a petrol station very often because the economy on it is ridiculous. And it's a nice enough thing to drive. It's really not too bad. 350 quid a month. Uh, the average on it's been 412. This time last year, it was 598. So we're not far off half of what it was costing last year. In March, 559, July, 420, November, 434 at 350 quid a month. That is a bargain, folks. And I think you'll struggle to get better overall value from almost any car in this video. It's good. Next, we've got another Toyota that's wearing a Suzuki hat. It's the uh, Suzuki A-Cross 2.5 litre PHEV E4 CVT. We've seen it plenty of times before. The price is not really changing at the moment. It's a bargain at 400 quid a month. Go and get one. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, whoa, there's a lot of sensible, boring cars in this video. When's he going to show us something a bit livelier? I only show you the best deals, folks. Remember that. But there is a decent deal on this at the moment. It's the Golf R, 320 horsepower, insurance group 31, 341 litres of boot space. 0-62, 4.7 seconds. I mean, that's getting down the road a little bit sharpish. Uh, 447 quid a month with uh, 1,343 up front. It is the DSG Automatic. Um, average price on it's been 504 a month at its peak 565 currently 504 you're saving 50 quid a month over the average but this is an in-stock golf r dsg with full motion that's got 320 horsepower if you're a petrol head that likes performance this is probably your best bang for your buck right now. And the last of the cars with a combustion engine is actually a plug-in hybrid. It's the Lexus NX 450H Plus 2.5 litre eCVT premium pack, 578 quid a month, and the upfront on it is 1734. 6.3 seconds to 62, over 300 mpg. Hmm, 
That seems legit. 306 brake horsepower, insurance group 38, 525 litres of boot space, and this is a good looking vehicle. Now Lexus has produced some fantastic cars over the years, but one area where they've often let themselves down is this bit. They've had a NAF infotainment system and really clunky ways of controlling it, which were unsafe really. The new system's mainly touchscreen based, but you've still got some physical buttons and dials for the important bits. And it's great. It's head and shoulders above anything that's ever been in a Lexus before and uh, is up there with one of the better systems on the market, in my opinion. Amazing interior quality in a Lexus as well. You get real door thunk. If you know, you know. So look at this. This time last year, 743 quid a month. It was around about 790, 800 quid for most of the sort of spring and summer. Um, and then it's just dropped down a bit in recent times, 631 in October. Average of 730, currently 578 with 1700 up front. Right, now we'll get onto these electric cars. And this one is putting cat amongst the pigeons at the moment. I know a couple of people that have ordered one of these already. And um, I think there might be one more today. He knows who he is. This is the Aura 03, the artist formerly known as the Funky Cat. It's the pure plus 48 kilowatt hour automatic, 193 miles of range, uh, 171 brake horsepower, insurance group 27, 228 litres of boot space. Obviously, this is three years, three months up front, 10,000 miles. But if we start having a play with this, now, a lot of people are only going to do 5,000, 8,000 miles in this kind of car. Um, it's got a really spacious cabin, but quite a small boot. I still feel like it's more a city car than anything else. Obviously, 193 miles of range is decent, but to me, that's still more a sort of fairly local car than it is one you're going to do loads of long journeys in. So if we put that down to 5,000, which is quite realistic in this kind of car, and we look at a two-year deal. It's quite cheap. So let's say we'll go for six months deposit. It's got 874 quid up front. And then you're looking at 145 quid a month. So that's a decent, I don't know, £30,000 EV for 145 quid a month. I mean, funny, <laughs> if you just want to test out an EV and see if it's going to work for you and your family, you could do a lot worse than that. I don't know if you could hire one for more than about two days for that much money, uh, in all seriousness. This really is an amazing deal, folks, and it will go quickly. I can't see how they can possibly keep this pricing up on it because it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work out. And look at this. We put 1100 down on it. It's 130 quid a month. Go up to 8,000 miles, 150 quid a month. I mean, it's just so cheap. If you want to try out an EV, see how it works for you. If you just want a second car for commuting to work, that's going to cost you the square root of bugger all to run. If you've got a home charger, of course, then really what's stopping you? All I would say is get an insurance quote for it first. Insurance group 27, so it shouldn't be too scary. But insurance has gone up massively in the last six months. And it's always worth getting these things checked before you bite the bullet. But aside from that, click on that link in Lease Loco, folks, and make your inquiry. It's simply too good not to. Next, we've got one of the more popular EVs that's been around in recent times. There were huge waiting times on these like 18 months ago. You see tons of them on the road. They're massively popular. It's the MG ZS. This one's the Trophy model, 51 kilowatt hour, 198 miles of range, 176 horsepower, insurance group 28, 470 litres of boot space. This time last year, nearly 400 quid a month in April, 444, average 371 currently 308 but as i said it is in stock and uh, don't forget there were those wait lists on these not too long ago sticking with mg we've got the mg4 this one's the trophy so top spec long range 64 kilowatt hour 270 miles of range 203 horsepower insurance group 29 289 liters of boot space 358 quid um, average on this has been 402 this time last year 438 and as you can see the price apart from that one little blip there the price has just gradually come down these things have won loads of awards um, loads of the journos at car events bleat on about these things and how much they love them um, i've actually got the x power version on the drive at the moment which is the crazy hot hatch one so there'll be a review coming to the channel 
on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, the MG4, one of the best sort of drivers cars that's currently got electric motors in it. And as much as you can have real fun in it, around the twisty stuff and what have you. And um, they're just great value, really. 358 quid a month. And the upfront on that is 1,076. Right, Subaru Solterra, just under 1,200 upfront and 379 a month. Uh, this one's the all wheel drive limited spec, 289 miles of range, 218 horsepower, insurance group 46, and 452 litres of boot space. <sighs> Look at the price history. This time last year, 829. At its peak in October, 859. Average has been 704. This is the lowest price we've ever seen one at 379 quid a month. That's exceptional value. Um, look at the price to purchase something like an MG ZS, uh, which is a great price. That lease deal at the moment is really good. It's like a 90 lease loco score. It's really good deal. But probably between the limited Solterra and that MG ZS, you're probably looking at a 20 grand difference in terms of purchase price, somewhere in that ballpark anyway, maybe 15, I don't know. Um, but in terms of your monthly cost, about 75 quid. Uh, and the Subaru is a very good car. Um, it didn't review well, just like its sister, the Toyota BZ4X, because they were charging way too much money for it. At 800 quid a month, I'd be giving you a list of 30 cars to get before you consider getting one of these. But at 379 quid a month, there aren't too many EVs that can compete with that kind of range, that kind of boot space. And as a total package, it really starts to come into the conversation at that price point, which is insane. Average has been 704 a month, currently 379 with an upfront of 1139. Next, we've got the ID4, and once again, it's as low a price as we've ever seen 1166 upfront and 388 a month. Phenomenal deal. Again, phenomenal deal. Style Edition Pro Performance, 77 kilowatt hour, 322 miles of range, 204 brake horsepower, insurance group 27, 543 litres of boot space. And look at the price history. This time last year, £704 a month. In March, £717 a month. Uh, in May, 654 In October, 500 quid. And then it really just dropped at the end of Jan. Average has been 557 currently 388 Awesome value. And if you want a slightly different looking sister, and I mean slightly, the ID5. Um, again, Style Pro Performance, 327 miles of range, Insurance Group 31, 549 litres of boot space, 204 horsepower. Get that one for 414 a month with 1,244 up front. Average on that one's been 565. This time last year, 634. At its peak, 651 currently 414 and then again we're looking at you know one of the lowest prices we've ever seen on this car the tesla model y rear wheel drive standard range it's the one i've got at 283 miles of range 347 horsepower insurance group 46 492 quid a month up front on that one is 1477 and look at the price history this time last year 573 which at the time was like bananas you know it was a crazy price on one of these people were going bonkers for it in october though back up to 629 in january 690 694 currently 492 i can't give you a better recommendation really than i've got one and if i had to choose another electric car for me and my family again today i'd choose that one again simple as that Please use that link to Lease Loco to make your inquiry. These are in stock. Um, I know they're going quickly, so I don't know how long the deal's going to be around if they get any more extra stock. They orig originally, there were a thousand of these put to market on these lease deals, and it was capped at a thousand, and they are going at a rate of knots. So just bear that in mind and don't be upset if you look in a few days' time and the deal's gone. And then finally, we've got the Skoda Enyaq Sportline Plus 82 kilowatt hour, 4x4 automatic, 328 miles of range, 286 horsepower, insurance group 37, 585 litres of boot space. It's basically one of those ID cars with a different lid on it. Good looking thing. I, I prefer it out of the looks of all of them, but 
Um, it doesn't look like quite as amazing value as the ID4 and the ID5 at the moment. In October, it was 823 quid a month then. It's currently 507 with an upfront of 1522. Folks, please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and please use that link to Lease Loco. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's the time. Lots of people watch all this leasing content and don't subscribe. I know because I see the stats and it's something like 23%, I think, last month that watched the leasing video were actually subscribed. So please let today be the day that you click that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, click the notification bell so you know every time I release a new video. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you on the next one.